Ah, uh, so much work to do. Right, let's get this letter started. <laughs> what is this? What is this thing? What? Why is it doing this? I just want to write my letter. What are these options? Oh, dang it! How do I get rid of... What? Ah! Who invented this stupid paperclip? That'd be me. My name is Kevin Atterbury, and I write and illustrate books for children. Back in the 90s, I had a graphic design company, got to do a little bit of work for Microsoft, and I was asked to uh, design some characters for a project called Microsoft Bob, which may be one of their biggest failures. It was software for people having their first computer experience. They liked the idea of these characters that could tell what you were trying to do and offer their assistance. After the failure of Microsoft Bob, they ported the character technology over to Microsoft Office. We went through 260 character designs to get down to the 10 that shipped with the product. Coming up with Clippy was not as uh, big of a stretch as, as you might think. And while it's obviously an office thing, I loved the simplicity of a paperclip as a character. I loved the flexibility, all the things I could do. I loved the fact that I was just using eyes because eyes can be so expressive and, you know, it simplifies my work too, right? I think I designed about 20 or 22 characters. I had a stapler, I had a, a stubby little pencil, I had a coffee mug. I do a lot of sketches, just hundreds of sketches. Once I got to where I liked it, I would scan it in, then start working on it uh, digitally on my Macintosh. Once we had all the characters designed, they were handed over to social psychologists at Stanford University in California to help us start winnowing out some of the characters. The professors would bring, you know, general public in. They'd ask things like, is this character trustworthy? Is the character likable? Does he have a sense of humor? Through that process, they were able to uh, eliminate characters until they got down to the final 10 characters. Obviously, they needed a default one, and obviously the most trustworthy, endearing, engaging, you know, likable character happened to be Clippy. There were people there that were not happy that uh, Clippy kept making it through every level. On this team, my character had risen to the top. Oh, thanks. Two and a half, three years that I did from Microsoft was uh, a really great time in my life. And it just seemed like maybe it was a good time to leave. And then I didn't think much about it until I kept hearing that, oh yeah, Windows has shipped with this, this character, this paperclip. The disdain for him was just incredible. Everywhere you turned, I mean, people just hated that paperclip. They wanted to turn him off. There's no way to turn him off. And his functionality was too basic and, and annoying for most people. I would never, never include Clippy in my, in my portfolio because I was so embarrassed of him. One time, I was at a client's office. She was pulling something up on her computer to show me what she was looking for, and up popped Clippy. And I looked at it and go, Oh, I, I created that. She looked at me and she goes, you did? And she was so excited. Honestly, Clippy has opened so many doors for me over the years. People just are very receptive to it. And now, you know, nobody hates Clippy now. He's on The Simpsons and Family Guy and he shows up everywhere. I had no idea, that, you know, obviously how big he's gonna be. I mean, holy cow. If I could uh, have seen into the future and realized, I would have probably tried to get my contract written differently. He's a character that everybody understands his motive. He's a guy that just, just wants to help and he's a little bit too helpful sometimes. And there's something fun and vulnerable about that. It doesn't matter if you like him or hate him. As long as you know who he is, I have cachet.